Hello and welcome to Consistency Goal Swing. I am Frank Drawlinger, developer of the core balance free release method of Consistency Goal Swing. I am really proud that today we are hosting the orthopedist and accident surgeon medical doctor Dietmar Goebel from Germany for our video series on the subject of golf and health. Medical doctor Dietmar Goebel has been a member of our scientific team at Consistency Goal Swing for many years. Based on his experience in competitive sports, he is able to distinguish and anatomically evaluate the biomechanics of golf. Let's give him a very warm welcome. My name is Dr. Dietmar Gobel. I'm a specialist in orthopedics, a specialist in orthopedics and trauma surgery, a doctor in sports medicine and physical therapy, chiropractic therapy. I'm also qualified in acupuncture and neural therapy. Lateral shear forces, high torsion forces, and pelvic obliquity create a high risk of injury to the sacroiliac joint. Can the core balance free release method significantly minimize this risk of injury? The so-called ISG or SIG or sacroiliac joint under these three headings, this runs in the colloquial or also in the literature, is finally wedged as left and right joint between the iliac wing. Minimal movement in this joint is possible, but a special tilting movement is not intended. If we lock this joint further, example, further strengthening by civilian posture, a so-called ventral pelvic bend, i.e. if the pelvis is turned forward, this joint further locks and movements become hardly possible. A movement method, no matter what kind of sport, which then tilts the pelvis laterally and leads further into the hollow back will always damage the joint. This is independent of the kind of sport. In golf, this unfortunately happens with the classic hits. If we now use the free release method and the pelvis remains horizontally, we avoid tilting movements in this joint. Only then can we relive the sacroiliac joint or the sacroiliac joints to avoid tilting. This has a particularly harmful effect on the non-targeted sacroiliac joint. This can even result in sciatica irritation or pseudo-sciatica irritation, i.e. a healthy method analyzes the civilian posture, but will in any case include physiological movement dimensions and thus a horizontal pelvic posture. We would like to thank Dietmar very much for this great information. We are very excited about what Mr. Goebel can tell us about golf and health. If you would like to learn more about golf and health, then please subscribe to this channel and you will be able to view the next video.